Here are some of our most surprising stories about Adam Sandler. Smash. In May of 2021, Sandler was spotted at an IHOP, being told he'd need to wait half an hour for a table. So you know, that just proves the point that you never know who might come into IHOP. Diana Rodan is a hostess at a branch of the pancake restaurant. She said she was mortified not to recognize the star. He walks in and I just stare at him. I'm like, oh my God, that guy looks a lot like Adam Sandler. But of course, I was like, it's no way it's him. Another customer confirmed that it was the Brooklyn-born, New Hampshire-raised comedian. My heart just dropped. I was just like, there's no way that was him. I spoke to Adam Sandler and I told him he was 30 minutes and he left. Sandler got props for acting like a normal person and not pulling the celebrity card. I just want to say, like, if you're watching this, I I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I need you to come back. Like, everyone at my job was like, there's no way you didn't recognize him. And now I know. I should have. <laughs> After the story got out, he tweeted, For the record, I only left the IHOP because the nice woman told me that the all-you-can-eat deal didn't apply to the milkshakes. To make amends, the chain hosted a Milkshake Monday in his honor. The proceeds went to charity. And Sandler even posed with Diana. In 2018, Sandler posed with some other regular folks when he crashed a wedding shoot. He does have a little experience with weddings, after all. Well, I have a microphone. And you don't. So you will listen to every damn word I have to say! The wedding singer himself photobombed this happy couple celebrating in Montreal. They invited him to the reception, but he politely declined. No wedding singer throwback this time. Which is not to say that Sandler doesn't like to revisit his greatest hits. For instance, he periodically updates his Hanukkah song. From 2015... Here's the fourth list of people who are Jewish. Joseph Gordon Levitt enjoys eating kugel. So does Stanley Jake Gyllenhaal and the two guys who founded Google. Sandler's classic golf comedy Happy Gilmore also got an update in 2015. As you probably have guessed, Bob Barker and I haven't spoken with each other in many years. That's right. Not since Happy Gilmore. Sandler and Barker mixed it up in the 1996 hit. You want a piece of me? I don't want a piece of you. I want the whole thing. Oh! The combatants recreated their famous Donnybrook for Comedy Central's Night of Too Many Stars show for autism charities. Then 91-year-old Barker let Sandler have it. I'm fine. But you know you, you are looking old. Thanks for pointing that out. How old are you, 60? I think we're supposed to talk about autism, Bob. You're looking chunkier than the soup. <laughs> Adam tried to keep his cool. I think Price is Right is on now. We can watch that. Love the host. He's just yeah. so funny and not crotchety and angry. And you know what else is great about him? Tell me. He's worked 25 years mm -hmm. and never had to do the wobbity do waka waka woo voice. You know, like a desperate idiot. <laughs> Predictably, things fell apart. Adam threw the first punch. Oh, 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 oh. Now you're gonna get it, puppy. Oh, oh. Somehow, the two both ended up in heaven, where they kept fighting. Oh, yeah, boy. Happy Gilmore seems to be the gift that keeps on giving as this moment from early 2021 shows. It's been 25 years since I've done this. Sandler dusted off his driver to recreate that famous swing. Smash, you dead shooter. <laughs> as for Happy's nemesis, Shooter McGavin. Let's get one thing straight, this is Shooter's tour. Let's see if it's uh, Shooter's tour. The rivalry is still there. Money. Shooter. Still got it. Well, thank you to all the fans and thank you to you, Adam Sandler. And uh, why don't you just meet me at the ninth green at nine, Gilmore? Little secret of the pro. And I'm not lying to you, that is smashed. Smashed. I get it, Dad, I'm a win. In October of 2020, Sandler paid tribute to another one of his co-stars, Cameron Boyce, who died in 2019. Sandler's Netflix movie, Hubie Halloween, featured an end screen honoring Boyce. 
The message read in part, in loving memory of Cameron Boyce, gone way too soon. You live on forever in our hearts and are truly missed every day. Finally, Adam Sandler has a reputation for generosity. Here he is on Long Island at a pickup basketball game in May of 2021. So we just watched him play and it was awesome. He's a very selfless uh, player. He likes to pass. It's awesome. Sandler's passing game even prompted the Long Island Nets to tweet, Hey, Adam Sandler, if you want to come to one of our local player tryouts, let us know. Mr. Sandler is even seeing this. So many people pulled up around the park to see you. So I think it would be awesome if you have any free time at all to do a charity basketball game in Long Island. I would love to help him put that together. Hear that, Adam? This is Inside Edition Digital.